I bought the cheapest 4070 Ti I've ever seen online, and you're not gonna believe the price. It's way below MSRP. I'm gonna tell you where I did it, how, and what you should know. Today, I'm gonna prove to you you can get a GPU much cheaper than MSRP. The other day, I posted about getting a 4090 cheaper than a 4080, and that was with Best Buy Open Box. Some people said they were able to actually get it. There was like proof out there in the world that it happens, but today I'm gonna show you how I got a 4070 Ti cheaper than a 4070 Ti. I mean, and this is gonna be something that I was able to actually do and replicate in the real world. And this is what I've been telling you guys. You need to pay attention if you're in the US. Sorry, international viewers. I know I had a lot of people post and say they wish they could see these open box prices in other countries, but unfortunately, this is gonna be specific to the US. And specifically, I'm talking about Best Buy, but at least it should be entertaining for you if you're looking on from elsewhere. Elsewhere. And maybe disappointing if you have to pay a much higher price, but I don't know. Sorry about that. And of course, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. If you like videos like this, help us reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. But anyway, at Best Buy, there are popping up now many open box GPUs. I was actually browsing today and I looked at a 4070 Ti. I've been wanting to get one for testing purposes so I can compare it for you guys, maybe against the AMD GPUs. I have a 7900 XTX running in here. I wanted to see how good does it do? Are there really serious limitations at 4K if you really push that VRAM? Can you make it really start to crumble? Or is it really a decent GPU no matter what you throw at it? So that's why I've been wanting to get one in order to test it. But just like you guys, I didn't really want to pay $799 for it. So I was searching Best Buy and I happened to see a gigabyte 4070 Ti, which originally would be over the 799 MSRP, but it was heavily discounted because it was an open box GPU and it came out to about $679. That's cheaper than anything possible on the market aside from something from last generation. I mean, for that price, the best GPU you're probably gonna get usually is maybe like a 6950 XT or something like that, but nothing from this generation because the cheapest GPU is a 799 4070 Ti. Now, this is the Gigabyte Eagle and the savings was around like $179 or thereabouts, which is pretty incredible because even on the 4080, if you had used like a 10% coupon code, you're only going to save like 120 bucks and that's still $1,079. So with this particular GPU, it brings it down to $679, which in my opinion makes this 4070 Ti an absolutely amazing deal. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You want to go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate, and now let's go back to the video. This is like almost the original 3080 12 gigabyte, but people may say, oh, but not a lot of people will be able to get these particular deals, but that's not necessarily true. And here's why. Compared to finding a 4090 open box, you're gonna be a lot more likely to find an open box for a 4070 Ti because one, it's a GPU that people are more likely to return. There's absolutely no secondhand or scalper market for these GPUs. The 4090 still does, but not the 4070 Ti. And then you're just gonna have people that maybe bought it and regretted it and and returned it, it's gonna be produced in a much larger number, meaning that more people will be able to see these open box items pop up. Second, the 4070 Ti as well is available at different Best Buys, and Best Buy people have around the country in much more abundant numbers than something like Micro Center, which is gonna be great, but a lot smaller and only in a few states. Best Buys are literally like everywhere. Some people even have multiple Best Buys near them, therefore increasing the chances of you, the viewer, coming upon one of these GPUs. One important thing to note is that 
Sometimes you have to have it within a certain radius, like the open box GPU, maybe like a 250 mile radius or something like that. This particular one that I got, I'm not picking up in the store. They're actually shipping it to me, so it can kind of vary. I'm not too sure where it's coming from, if it's like a Best Buy warehouse or possibly if it's one, you know, maybe a local store that got a return or something like that. But keep an eye out. Sometimes with the 4090s, people were able to see that the open box was available, but they were never able able to add it to cart simply because it wasn't available within like a certain radius of their stores and somebody else who had it available would be able to add it to cart. I've seen another local 4080 open box um, that I was able to actually add to cart in the past. So just keep in mind your mileage may actually vary there. So going back to this particular GPU, generally, I mean, Best Buy has a really good return policy. That's why this one was returned as open box. It said excellent condition. I'm going to be receiving it in a few days and most likely it should be absolutely fine. Somebody who paid over the MSRP for for it of course this was like 800 and something dollars originally probably just regretted their purchase maybe they didn't even use it sometimes best buy open box items can be almost pretty much like new and you're just getting a pretty big discount other times you do have to be careful maybe there could be damage on the gpu but they don't really check it and test it extensively but i'm pretty sure more than likely it's just going to be something that was returned because somebody did not want it it's always been my opinion that maybe something like a 4070 ti it's really not a terrible gpu i mean it's awesome for 1440p at the end of the day the problem with it really is the pricing if everybody was paying 699 for one of these or 679 rather like the open box price i think a lot more people would buy it a lot of people would get rid of their last generation gpu but then once again this may cause a problem for nvidia who's still trying to sell their rtx 3000 gpus like a lot of the you know 3070s 3060 ti's are still out there even though most of the 3080s and above seem to have basically disappeared from the market, try to find a new 3090. It's going to be very difficult, even a 3090 Ti. And when you do, they're going to be still really highly priced. The only place to go for those really is going to be on the secondhand market, like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something like that. So finding an open box from a retailer, especially one that has a really good return policy like Best Buy, you're going to be pretty much covered because, you know, the GPU doesn't work or if it's, you know, scratched up or something like that, you could always easily return it. So there's not too much risk there at play. But for the benefit, you're getting a pretty big, you know, discount on the GPU itself. That's a tremendous discount. I mean, $799 is the base MSRP. This one, $679. And the price of this one was higher than $799 because it's not one of the base ones so you're getting a significant discount and i did try to put that coupon code on it in conjunction with the open box discount fortunately they didn't work together but who not really going to complain because i'm already getting a fairly significant steep discount from the new price of this particular gpu sometimes people will tell me oh why do i even bring it up if it's just best buy or open box may not be easy to find for everybody well i'll tell you why every time i make one of these videos there's always at least a couple of people people that have the same luck and maybe because of the video I made they're able to find that GPU cheaper if like one or two of you because of my video find a cheaper GPU and you save that much money on the GPU because of something like that I did I consider that a success even if one of you are able to see it for the other people that don't it, you know it's just a little bit of like entertainment a little bit of information on the possibilities and you never know in the future using these type of just you know savvy shopping uh, tactics paying attention to the different things you know looking regularly that's something else um, if you do want to pick up one of these deals that I recommend you can follow various like discord or even Twitter accounts that give you notifications of drops of new items but the best way to do it is you know let's say if you know a GPU that you're looking for if it's a 4070 Ti every so often maybe every day Go and search on Best Buy, see if anything's changed or popped up. Sometimes, like I looked today, you know, that 4070 Ti open box was there. It wasn't there the other day at all. So it really, you know, it can change day to day. And I even noticed that other 4070 Ti's are getting a price discount. There's an MSI one that was $839 and it's down to $829. I mean, $10 isn't really that big of a price drop, but it's certainly the start of something. And eventually, I think these prices should 
start going down even further. And we even talked about in a different video, the 4080 is getting a different circuit, a different design from Nvidia to its board partners with the aim of reducing cost. Now that cost may take a little while to be passed on to the consumer as they work their, their way through these GPU sales that they already have in the pipeline. But eventually you can bet these GPUs are not selling at their pricing. So they have to lower prices open box or not. They're going to have to discount the pricing of these GPUs, even at the new retail pricing. Overall, I just wanted to share with you guys this video about the open box. It's the cheapest 4070 Ti I've seen anywhere for sale um, online. Of course, not many used models are available. So probably even counting the secondhand market. I mean, this GPU just came out a few weeks ago. It's literally a brand new design that hasn't been on the market very long so you can get lucky and find one of these as well just remember if you do find it just post down below so other people know as well remember to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video